Welcome to Family of Hope. How are all our hopeful minions doing today? Hey, we have an exciting, important video today. Yes. It has a little bit to do with Drax Shadow. Yes. It has to do with somebody near and dear to our heart. Yes. Someone who we met on the internet. And let me just say that I feel so blessed that we have social media to meet and create relationships on social media, especially like the platform of YouTube. And we can talk to you and uh, create a relationship with you and get to know you better. And through YouTube, there is one person that we got to know and her name is... Miss Debs McLeod, Miss Debbie Debs Debs. My uh, best friend for the last couple of years, we have grown close together over time and I've gotten to know her and she's kind of like my twin from another side of the country. She lives in Scotland and we live here in California in the USA. I will let Debs McLeod tell you that story. Stick around. And wait to the end because we have a surprise for her at the end. Hello hopefuls, my name is Debs McLeod and you may recognize me as Debs Dreams on YouTube. I just wanted to tell a little bit of a story today about how I got to be a hopeful and how I became Melody's best friend. So, back in 2016, early 2016, um, a little background on me, I had been going through a bit of a hard time, I had various health complaints, alopecia, cervical cancer, I was going through biopsies, I was getting treatments, I was on medication, I was just really depressed as well. I had a bit of a troubled upbringing shall we say and a few different things that had happened that had basically made me want to give up on life. So I started watching random videos on YouTube as you do and I came across Mum's Blog Yeti. It was just this family whose son was going through cancer and cancer treatment at the time. I think it was recommended to me because I had been um, googling things like treatments and cancer and that. I started watching and I just, like everybody, fell in love with them. I really enjoyed their humour and who they were as people and the hope that they were bringing. It was at a time where I wasn't feeling very good about myself. One evening in particular, October 26th, 2016, I was feeling very low and I wanted to end it all. I was seriously considering suicide. When it came to the moment that it was going to happen, I got a notification on my phone and it said that Mum's Blog A had posted a video. In my brain at the time, I thought I want to watch this before I go. Um, so I pressed play and that one moment changed my whole life. There was Ronnie, he was dressed up, he had a beard on, a bandana on, he was doing a little dance and a little skit thing. Um, Melody was in the car with Elijah, I think they were coming back from chemotherapy. They'd stopped off at a gas station, some boxes, did, boxes had fell on Elijah's head and he was laughing about it and they were singing the gas, 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 everybody! They were singing that and they were just having a grand old time. And I just remember thinking, how is this possible? I just saw something that I was like, wow, I want to I want to know what that is. Where do you get that from? And I had left I'd started leaving comments on Mel and Ronnie's videos. Then I decided to send them a letter. I also emailed them and I told them that they had saved my life. Um, just seeing that joy and that hope that they gave out and specifically saved my life when like at the right time that I really needed it. It was like the very last minute that someone could have intervened and I believe that God intervened and pointed me out to this amazing family. And then I got to know them and the more I got to know them we realised that me and Melody are like soul sister twins. It's, we say the same things all the time out of nowhere. We'll just randomly burst into the same song at the same time or we'll say something at the same time. We react the same way. 
were just so similar and she definitely is just the best human being in my whole world. I love Melody. And then I was invited to Mel and Ronnie's wedding renewal in California. I had never even been to America before. I had no idea what I was in for. I was totally blown away because things like that don't happen to me. I went and had the most life-changing experience. Um, not only getting to be there for Mel and Ronnie's wedding renewal, 20th anniversary, but just to experience life with them was just absolutely crazy and I do have that vlogged on my channel if you want to go and see it. We had made plans that I was going to go back over and visit again, I made plans that I want to move to America, I want to work there, it would just bring me completely a million percent out of my situation. For the last four years I've actually been living in a house that is really bad with damp and mould and my landlord just doesn't want to fix it. I have some pictures that will be included that you might see. Um, it's just been one emotional journey, one thing after the other, but the last five years since I've been friends with Melody, I can get through anything. The strength this woman gives me is just second to none. She's just my best friend, my biggest encouragement so full of hope she literally is trying to make my dreams come true and i think god just knew that we needed each other it's just perfect i, I love melty bits i love all the main bills and i love all the hopefuls i've met so many friends just through knowing mel a lot of you guys i love saying hello to you and chatting with you and I, ju I just appreciate every single one that has donated to the GoFundMe to help get me to America. I can't, I can't even put into words and I don't know how I could express that I'm so thankful other than when I get there I promise I will work hard to succeed, to give back, to just make my dreams come true and those around me, God willing. And yes, so that is the story in a tiny little nutshell. I hope I haven't rambled on for too much. But guys, don't forget to give these guys a like and a subscribe, follow, all that jazz because it literally could change your life. Me commenting on a stranger's vlog 5,000 miles away changed my entire being, my mindset, my life. I'm so much happier, healthier, stronger and I just know I wouldn't have done that without that ability to be able to connect and comment on Mum's Vlog 80 which became Family of Hope which is now Hopeful Nation as well so yes anyways I'll go now. Thanks for listening. Bye. Now you can see the impact social media have. I have had multiple emails and letters about how our YouTube channel has changed someone's life, whether we saved their lives or or something a little different. But it, it, it's definitely made an impact on her. Isn't that an inspirational video? Somebody who's at their wits end. And they're about to jump out of the window per se and and end their life and they see this little kid and I believe that to this day Elijah is still uh, making an impact in the world and we want to let people know that um, we want to help make Debs McLeod dream come true. How can uh, how can a normal person sit there and see somebody that is forced to live in conditions like that. Now we need to let people know a, a, an understanding that Scotland and a lot of the UK, there's a lot of pieces and parts where there are poverty in these countries. If, if you go to Africa, you're gonna see a lot of it. Scotland is one of them that they're very low budgeted and have po a ton of poverty. And it's really hard for uh, Deb to get a job right now due to COVID. So she's having a rough time trying to find a new place to live. Today is the opportunity to help her make her dreams come true. She has a three month visiting visa to the USA. Mm. And so right now is the perfect time, like right now. To get her here. Because there are things that, ha there are huge opportunities for her to become a resident to uh, the USA and we need to get her here. All we're asking for is airline tickets. 
That's all we're asking. And if each person can donate $1, $5, $10 to the GoFundMe link that we posted in the description down below, please go to the a GoFundMe link. Go help Deb. Give her an encouraging word while you do so. You could donate as anonymous as well if you'd like to. But we are trying so hard. She has given us, made our dreams come true. She has. She has gone above and beyond. And not one, not two, but three of our dreams come true. And she continues to give. She gives dreams to other people. You guys don't know what kind of giving person Debs McLeod is. She is so giving. Despite her living situation, I have never seen such a giving person in that kind of situation that doesn't think about, oh, it's all about me. It's all about me. Oh my gosh, give to me. No, she gives to other people. But now is the time to give back and we don't want it to stop here. Yeah. After this. Oh yes. You know what? This, this might not end here. We might want to continue on making people's dreams come true. Why can't this channel do that? We should. We have such we a totally great should. community where we could go on to the next one. Yes, that's absolutely. That's struggling, that's hurting. And with a loving community that we have, help somebody else. We want to do this and then help somebody more else. often. So make sure you click on the GoFundMe link. Make her dream come true because maybe one day your dream will come true as well. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. This is so near and dear to our hearts. It's, it's truly important. I think Drax Shadow will love you for it. Drax Shadow wants her nearby because she got to know Drax Shadow online as well. And Let's make a difference and change somebody's life yes. forever. Yes. Thank you guys for watching Family of Hope. Don't forget to go subscribe to her channel at Deb's Dreams. You can see her some of her live story over at Deb's Dreams. Her link is down below. As well as uh, Hopeful Nation, our other channel where you can comment You on. can leave a comment and we will respond. So We love you guys so very much. And until next time. Have a wonderful evening. See ya. Ciao.